Hey there, welcome to another Dev Journal. Um, today I've got a lot of updates, changes, additions, stuff like that. Um, you can see I've got some cars burning in the road to make it look less um, like, well, how do we get out of here? Well, you don't. Um, I've also added this axe, which looks like garbage, and it's kind of animated. I need to figure out how to do more animations and stuff, but it's just a test for... Um, <laughs> it's just a test for uh, later on. It does actually work. So, yeah, it does break stuff. And um, I also have the rifle updated a little bit. And guess what else the rifle has now? The rifle has a lot of burns. Oh, that reminds me. I've also got sun. <laughs> a sun and um, a day-night cycle. I also have a moon as well. I just haven't uh just haven't quite um gotten that far yet as to make it smooth for the I haven't made the light box or the sky box very smooth yet. Um I've also got um Apocalypse spheres, zombie spheres, I'll, I'll just call them zombie balls. Um, they wander around at random. Um, see, I can see one now, it's just kind of plotting, just walking around. I think he actually got somewhere else. Uh, so there's, you know, there's that. There's just random zombie balls going around, wandering. Um, so they can pretty much wander anywhere. They're not uh, restricted to where they go, they're not following waypoints, they just do what they want to do. Uh, for areas where it's dark, like this house, I got a flashlight now. So get a nice little flashlight. It um, brightens up areas where it's dark, which it's probably getting dark now. It looks like, yes. As you can see, the light actually shifts with the light giver. So. <laughs> So the light will, like right now the moon's rising, so the light's up against this side of the houses. I, I'm trying to make that transition less jarring, but, uh, you know, so it happens. It's interesting to watch these um, zombie spheres, how their artificial intelligence kind of works. Uh, sometimes they end up grouping up without really meaning to, and they just kind of go places together, or, you know, they just go off on their own most of the time. Um, but if they find you, they, they find you, they will chase you until you die. Or, well, yeah, until you die, but, you know, there's nothing to really kill me right now. Uh, so that's pretty much the majority of the changes. Um, light effects, flashlights, uh, running, ducking, jumping still works. I found out I can jump through windows. So I can actually jump through the windows in this, but I'm going to need to update the houses. Um, once I actually get... I guess the next thing is going to be zombie models, because this is... <laughs> this is getting pretty ridiculous, <laughs> shooting these spheres. I, I want to see what it's going to look like with uh, a bunch of zombies just wandering around trying to kill... <laughs> I feel like once I get that done, I will have something really cool accomplished. Because I'll have something fun to kill. Uh, but, you know, just watch the sunrise, I guess. And, uh, yeah. This is also faster than I would like. I'm planning on making the sunrise and the sunset uh, a lot slower. Each day is going to take roughly ten minutes of uh, real time. But for now, I just wanted to have it like this for uh, demonstration purposes. Um, hope you've enjoyed this dev journal. Uh... And if you like what I'm doing, share it, um, show other people. And if you have any, if you know anybody that knows how to make uh, good 3D models, knows how to animate better, uh, it's not hard to do better than me, obviously, by looking at these houses and stuff. But uh, if you know somebody that could do better, by all means, let me know, and uh, I could use the help. Uh, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye now.